Kia ora Avon Soders, welcome to part 2, your Office 365 orientation. As you can see here, we've got a series of tasks that we're going to uh, run you through in your learning class groups. And the first task involves us uh, teaching you about an application called Teams. Now, to access it, we're going to go to the browser. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm just opening that now. Mine automatically opens to start.avonside.school.nz. I'm hoping that you completed video for device setup and you have saved it as a favourite, in which case it will be along this top line here. So once you're on the screen start.avonside.school.nz, I want you to open the mail. And the reason that we go to mail is because it has the Office 365 365 waffle at the top left so I'm circling it now with my cursor and if I tap on to that it can take me to any of my Office 365 apps and right now I'm going to open Teams. So the first thing that you'll want to do once you open Teams is find the team that you're going to be working in in this particular class. Now your teacher will tell you uh, the name of the team that you need to look for. It's not going to be nearly as busy as you can see my white bar. Uh, chances are it is going to be something like 9 with a letter HPE 2019. So if I tap that, and sometimes I also need to hit the general, and if it doesn't show up, see how the little arrow here is to the side, I might need to tap it so it faces downwards and then it shows the general channel. And then you can see in this big grey space we are in the 9B HPE 2019 team. Now I just want to show you around Teams. Um, so what it is, it's a website that all of your learning for a particular class can occur in. Down the left side, the narrow um, bar, is the Teams taskbar. So, so the chances are you'll be looking at activity and sometimes there'll be little red dots with numbers saying that something's happened so you want to go and have a look there or the Teams icon. So we'll start with that. This white bar that I'm moving my cursor up and down in, that's got a list of all the teams that you are in and then this big grey space and it's headed with the team that I'm in right now which is 9B HPE uh, has a number of different things that I can access. So conversations, this means I can chat with people within my class, within the team. Now I really want to just draw you to uh, digital citizenship well, it's just citizenship these days, but I want you to be very mindful of using your manners when you are working online. So be polite and respectful. Treat others how you'd like to be respect, uh, how you'd like to be treated, and that keeps and is very in keeping with the Avonside values of respect and integrity. So conversations, you're going to be starting one of those soon. Uh, and down the bottom here, you can write at, and you could go 9B, 9B HPE, so you can direct it to your whole team, say hi there, uh, my name is Ginny, and I'm into mountain biking. Okay, and so everyone's going to be doing this, so introducing yourself, saying one thing that you're into, you would then hit the send icon and I'm going to want you to reply to at least three to five other people in your class saying, you know, it might be, hey Ginny, that's really cool, I'm into mountain biking too, I often go mountain biking at wherever you go. Alright, so that's one task that we're going to be doing. I'll just get rid of that for now. Oops. Okay, going back up to the top of the grey space, so that's conversations, files. Your teacher may keep some files up there for you. B 
but you're going to be more interested in this thing called Class Notebook and we'll be using that soon as well and I'll talk to you more about that later and there's also assignments so your teacher can set assignments in here and so as you can see we can create and review but you will have a turn it in tab or turn in tab and that's where you'll turn them in so you are on to task one which is finding your team and then I want you to jump onto that general channel, introduce yourself to the class, so what your name is, at least one thing that you are into, and then I want you to reply to three to five people at least. Now remember, um, being respectful and using your manners is key because everyone can see what you are writing. Okay, have fun.